love using Canva to create designs for your business, then you need to add the brand kit on the back end. It will save you so much time. Now, in order to do that, you need a Canva Pro account. If you're on the fence of upgrading to Canva Pro, I have a video on why I chose to upgrade, and you can also try Canva Pro free th for 30 days to see if it's right for you. Once you've done that, I'll meet you on Canva. Here we are on canva.com and in order to add your brand guide, you're going to head on over to the left sidebar and click on brand. You'll see I already have my brand uploaded. What you can add is your logo, you can add your brand colors, and you can add your brand fonts. You can choose from Canva's fonts or you can upload your own. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. What we're going to do is add a new brand. This is also a great feature with Canva Pro, especially if you work with multiple clients or you have multiple businesses, you can have a brand kit for each one. So I'm just going to name this one test and we're going to click create. So it's super simple. What you do is click here to upload your logo from your computer and then you can add your color palette down here. You can have numerous colors. If you click on the plus, you can either drag the dropper around until you find a color that you think is similar to your brand or if you have a specific color, you can enter in the hex code here. If you have the CMYK numbers, you can enter those in here. It doesn't matter which one you choose and just keep adding colors until you have all of your colors present. And on the right side, what I love about Canva's fonts is that you can set the heading, subheading, and body. I'll show you how that all looks on an actual design. But since we're here, you click on the text and then you select a font. I'm just gonna choose a random font. And then you can set the size that you want your heading to be. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. And you can also make it bold or italic if that's available for the font. And then you would do the same for your subheading and the same for your body text. If your font or a similar one isn't available on Canva, you can always upload your own. What you're going to do is click on this upload a font button and then you're going to find your font. You can search for it. I'm just gonna click on one here. And you're going to have to make sure and verify that your font is available for commercial use. So if you downloaded the font, just double check to make sure that you can use it for your business. And then you're going to click yes, upload away. And then your font will appear in the font list. Now I'm gonna show you why adding your brand kit is super helpful. We're on one of my social media canvases and if I wanted to add text, I click on the text button here, and then you can see that these are my different headings, subheadings, and body text that I set based on my brand. If you need to change the brand, you click that down arrow, and then you can choose any of your other brands that you've already uploaded. So when I click add a heading, it adds a block of text with the brand specifications that I added. If you click on something that has color in it and then click on the color, you will see your brand colors right here. And again, you can also change which brand you're working with. That is how you add your brand kit to the back end of Canva. It definitely makes designing much quicker and easier. To learn even more Canva tips and tricks, including how to optimize the back end even more and how to learn how to be an effective designer, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva. I've linked to it down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.